everyone hope all are doing well so today in this video we are going to see that how we will create a card stacking section into the Framer website so basically as you can see that this is a section with this with the card stacking and it is working very fine and very modern so we are going to create this thing create this section into the Framer site right now we have a blank page so if I just move forward so let's take a frame place it down into the desktop and after that let's fill this thing and also not fill this thing and just increase the height for now let's make it black and after that what we have let me see that we have this card stacking section so firstly what we have to do is just create this whole section first and after that we will just use duplicate or make it a component and then we will just uh, move forward with other steps so let's make uh, make this uh, section first let's take another frame and just place it down and the first frame needs to be in a stack so let's make it a stack after that uh, let's take this frame the white frame and <clears throat> make this one uh, after a stack which is horizontal uh, sorry vertical so now what we are going to do is make it relative and then increase the width like around 80 per 80% uh, and after that let's remove the color uh, yeah here it is let's take the color from this website and after that let's place it down here and then we have a radius so we will obviously need a radius I think 34 or uh, 36 is good enough we can just simply move forward with that and then into this stack what we will uh, what we have that is a text and after that a line and then below or you can say the project name and then the arrow and this arrow whenever the mouse is on it then it moves uh, to the up and just uh, this is just an animation you can say so we are also going to cover all the things so let's take a text and place it down like uh, 2024 place it down at here and into the stack what we're going to do is just align all the things at left make some padding here but let me just also make this thing fit content and after that it would look something like this but don't worry about that let's add some padding so from here let's add 80 pixel, 80 pixel of top and bottom padding and <clears throat> we can go for 35 uh, something like this and after that we will take another frame and let's take this frame at here yeah and into this stack we have a lot of gap as you can see so we have to decrease it and we have a lot of height for the text so we are going to make it fit content and this is how actually it would look like but we can simply increase the gap between of this and then <coughs> using of this frame we will just use fill and then we will just simply do like this and reduce the height a bit more and let's select this stack and all this all the things like as you can see is uh, is not at the top but i need everything in the into the top so basically as i have added a lot of padding so that's why it is happening so let's just decrease a bit and after that what we have that is the text and the arrow so let's take a take another frame place it down and make it stack and after that uh, let's fill this thing 
and then remove the color take this text at here and also we will also need the icon but before that we will also make this thing as a stack and let's duplicate this stack again and after that let's fill this thing like as you can see the stack is uh, very big but the text size isn't so what we have to do is just fill this thing and here we are just going to make some changes like <clears throat> the font size will be like around 56 and then uh, it needs to be in a pop-in we can say like pop-ins and then we need the width so let's use this and after that at here I will need an icon so let's use hero icons here okay so let's uh, just resize all the things 40 by 40 and the thing is it is on the center but I don't need thing this thing into the center so basically I have to choose the stack and then just make it right align and after that let's uh, make this color into the black and search for arrow right and that's all and after that let's close this thing and search for image take it at here and after that we will just going to make this thing fill and let's take this image okay we already have the image sorry so from here we are going to take this image it will take some time okay and it will be filled for sure let's make it fill okay so let me uh, let's make it fixed and after that increase the height but as you can see the things isn't working fine it's just because of this tag needs to be fit content so from the height we will just use fit content and then it would look something like this but the but and also this stack also needs to be in fit content and after that as you can see it is working fine so let's make it radius 24 and this is how actually it looks like and here is the main interesting part so let's make this thing as a component uh, card component and uh, make another variant take this thing and just rotate it so from style okay not from style uh, it's from transform uh, scale skew rotate yeah I have to rotate it let's make it 3d okay no uh, let's move forward with 2d we will just uh, simply decrease it a bit and this is how actually it would look like so now we have to connect all the things like whenever the mouse will enter into this then it needs to be as like as this and when the mouse will uh, leave uh, this whole entire section then it will just be as it was before so let's connect this thing mouse enter and from here mouse leave that's all so if I just play this thing like as you can see it is working fine so now what we have to do is to duplicate all the, uh, these things but before that we will also need some gaps for sure so let's uh, let's ignore the gap for now let's just simply duplicate it but as you can see all the things are going uh, in in this line but I need in vertical mode so let's make this stack go for the vertical and also this one needs uh, the desktop which is the main stack needs to be fit content and then from here from this stack uh, sorry not this one let me see yeah th exactly this is what well, this is the one so let's increase it a bit more like around 100 and after that let's make all these things in a sticky mode so firstly 
what we will do is from real tiff we will just use sticky same for this one sticky and same for this one sticky as well as this after that if i just play this thing as you can see it is not working properly so basically what we have to do is just remove all the uh, overlays so from uh, the overflow yeah exactly the overflow i have to make it visible and after that from the desktop i have to make this thing visible overflow is hidden but i have to make it visible yeah after that you will see that it is working but the thing is things are getting messed up so let's change the colors so le uh, let's move forward with the component and pass a variable here go back and let's change the color it needs to be white this one needs to be white if i just play this thing then you will see that it is working fine but the thing is i need some gap like here we have a gap how we will do that so to make this uh, make that thing happen what we have to do we have to make some gaps like here <coughs> into the position mode we have top so let's increase from 20 and then uh, sorry yeah 20 and after that from the second uh, this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one so if I just play for a for a while like as you can see we have a gap so for this one it will be 40 this one it will be 60 so 20 uh, pixel of incre increment for every single stacks so let's just uh, do like that way and let's do, just crawl it so yeah this is how actually it works so i hope you have just learned some new framer tricks into uh, uh, to create a framer website so let me know how do you uh, feel into this video and yeah i will much appreciate your comment so yeah that's all please wait for my next video i'll be there thank you